Hey, it's Tom Collins, 8figurebusiness.com. Got another commercial for you for the 8-figure boot camp. Want to talk to you today about call centers. As you know, I came from the PMI background where we were a big ticket, high ticket coaching call center. And uh, as we grew, we had other divisions of our company that serviced and call center functions. So we had a, a coaching call center. I better write these down. So we had a coaching call center, which was the high ticket, right? We had a customer service call center for the front end um, the TV shows, people who needed customer service. We also outsourced a call center that took orders, right? So people would watch a TV show, they'd call the order taker call center. After they bought the product, if they needed help, they would call our customer service call center. When we bought, sold them coaching, right? We had a coaching call center. We also had coaches. So, and then in addition to that, we might outsource for other projects, uh, for lead generation, for lead qualification, for other things. The reason I share this with you is one, is kind of give you an insight of, we dealt with you know, five or six different kinds of call centers at any given time. If we were doing a seminar, people would call in to register for the seminar to a call center who would then move them on. If we were selling a continuity product or an internet marketing product, we might have a call center that called and did welcome calls and did upsells from that point. So again, quite a variety of uses and one of the common things that I get is I get a call and they go, hey, you're a call center guy, right? And I go, yeah, because of that experience. Of course, I, I am a call center guy. I was raised in a big call center group, PMI, and dealt with all these different types of call centers. However, most people think, oh, you're a call center. You can kind of do anything. Here's what I need to do. What you need to know about call centers is most of them are very, very specific in what they do very specific in their skill set, very unique in their offerings, and usually there's not a one-size-fits-all. What you need to know is what your needs are and how that fits into the call center environment, right? So just to give you an analogy, some people will call and go, hey, can you do this? And the comparable, if, if you were to compare this to cars, it's like driving a minivan and putting in a NASCAR race, or even worse, taking a NASCAR car and going and trying to pick up the kids from school. It's just a lot of the times it just doesn't fit what you're needing them to do. So you need to understand what type of call center you need, what the function is. I guess that's the, the key question is what function do you want the call center to perform for you? And everybody goes, oh, I want them to sell just the daylights out of my product. Well, picture call centers as just a piece of your funnel, right? So you have all of these things. And so, for example, if you're going to run an email drop, you've got to have a partner to go to that has the right kind of traffic, right kind of audience. You've got to have an ad creative. You've got to have a landing page. You've got to have a sales page and checkout pages, right? Then you're going to have upsells. All these are different specific functions of the web pages. Call centers do the same kind of thing. If you wanted someone to take a phone call from your ad, for example, and you're selling a $10 product, that's one thing. But if you want them to call in and buy a $50,000 piece of software or medical hardware, you're talking to a completely different group of people, right? Or you're gonna to need to. So depending on where your people are coming from in your sales funnel, will determine the type of function you need the call center to perform for you, right? And so typically, call centers have migrated around where there's money. If you're calling around to call centers and you're getting everyone to say no, you might want to, one, double check your funnel, and then two, ask around because you're not talking to the right kinds of call centers. They don't all do the same kinds of things. So I probably hammer that home way more than I need to, but if you want to learn kind of the A to Z uses of call centers, where they fit, how they can fit for you, how you can leverage them, and leverage them in a, in a big, big way, in a very successful way, and do it in a way that it really is the premium level as opposed to just kind of churn and burn, you can get churn and burn too. But if you really want to do it and grow your business and continue to grow your reputation, continue to grow your brand, I guarantee you you're going to need a call center at some point. You might need multiple call centers at some point. But we used five or six at any given time in our funnels to get to 150 to $180 million a year. If you want to get that big, you're going to have to use them in a, in a variety of ways. So anyway, wanted to hit you with that. If you're curious about the boot camp, go to 8figurebootcamp.com. 8figurebusiness.com will get you there too. But anyway, any questions, hit me up on social media, call me, whatever. If you're interested in the boot camp as well, uh, let's make contact because it is by uh, personal invitation or referral only. I'm not really letting people in that I don't know or already have a relationship at this point. 
Uh, would love to get to know you if you'd like to attend and or can be referred by someone that I know and trust. So anyway, hope to talk to you soon. Say bye.